A Gift for Mama by Linda Lotting Illustrated by Allison J. Read by Ben Hobbes Morning bells rang out over Vienna. Shoppers and sellers filled the streets, and carriages clippity-clopped against the cobblestones. Oscar peered wide-eyed into the shop windows. It was his mother's birthday, and he wanted to give her the perfect gift. The windows were full of treasures. Cakes, hats, music boxes. What can I buy? wondered Oscar. He had only a single coin. But there in the middle of the market was a flower seller. A beautiful yellow rose peeked out from within her basket of blooms. The pre perfect present, thought Oscar, and held out his coin. As Oscar admired his gift, an artist passed by. What a wonderful rose, he exclaimed. How perfect it would be in the portrait I am painting. But it's a present for my mama, explained Oscar. I'll trade you said the artist. What do you say a beautiful horsehair paintbrush for that beautiful rose? Oscar hesitated, but then he said, of course, I can paint a picture for Mama, the perfect present. Oscar skipped towards home. As he passed the opera house, he could hear the orchestra rehearsing. He waved his paintbrush in time with the music. Just then, a man came running toward him. I can't find my conductor's baton he cried. Oh, what will I do? Suddenly, the conductor beamed with delight. You have a baton, he exclaimed. Sir, you're mistaken, said Oscar. This is a paintbrush. Paintbrush, baton, no matter. It can lead an orchestra. The conductor held up a sheet of music. I'll trade you. Here's a melody I wrote just this morning. Da-da-da-dum, he sang. Da-da-da-dum. Mama loves music, said Oscar. That's the perfect present. Da 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 da, dee dee da da, sang Oscar as he waltzed down the street. Da 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 da, dee 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 da. Another voice joined in. That tune, said the man. I have the perfect words for it. May I? He plucked the music from Oscar's hand and started to write. But that's Mama's birthday song, Oscar cried. Now I have no present. The man rummaged through his satchel. Does your mama like books? He asked. I wrote this one myself. Mama loves books, said Oscar. A book is the perfect present. Just then, a commotion broke out on the street. Oscar tugged on a lady's sleeve. What's happening? He asked. It's the Empress, she said. Her coach is stuck in the mud. As Oscar squeezed through the crowd, suddenly a coachman grabbed his book and he jammed it under the wheel. Make way, he shouted. With a tug on the reins, the carriage lurched to a roll. Mama's book, cried Oscar. It's ruined. But as Oscar looked up, there was the Empress herself. She held out a box. Candied violets, she said kindly, to say sorry for your book. Oscar bowed. Thank you, your highness. The dainty, delicious sweets were the perfect gift for Mama. Oscar ran along the banks of the Rinner Danube. He couldn't wait to see Mama's face, but there, on the water's edge, a girl caught his eye. Even though her face was covered in tears, she was the prettiest girl he had ever seen. Why are you crying? asked Oscar. Today is my Mama's birthday, said the girl. An artist was painting my portrait for her, but he couldn't finish it in time. And now you have no present? Oscar guessed. The girl nodded and wiped away a tear. Oscar held tightly to his box of sweets. Then, ever so slowly, his fingers loosened. Here, he said gently, give your mama these. The girl's smile was as sweet as the scent of the yellow rose pinned to her dress. The perfect present, she said. Oscar turned toward home. Dusk was falling, and he knew mama would be worried. He blinked back tears. What would he give mama now? But suddenly, there was a tap on his shoulder. For you, said the girl, and she handed him the beautiful yellow rose. Oscar's heart soared. Clutching his gift, he raced through the darkening streets toward home. Mama was waiting on the doorstep. Happy birthday, cried Oscar. Mama smelled the rose. She wrapped her son in her arms. Perfect, she said. The end.